a couple days ago I went to the gym. Uh, like I said, I don't like going to the gym, but uh, I got to work with uh, 115, 120, all the way to 130 pound dumbbells. One hand snatches into one hand uh, presses over your head. Awesome while you're doing it, but oh my god, two days later, <laughs> oh, I hurt. Um, which is alright, it's given me time to rest. A lot of emails and a lot of messages, and I'm hoping, I, I hope I'm helping everyone out who, who has gotten to me. Um, and if I haven't yet, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to get there. Uh, doing this alone is, uh, it, it sucks, but there's a purpose, so I'm not going to give it up. I want to talk solely about the issue of Christ versus Antichrist. This is one of the major foundational flaws of Christianity. And one of the most powerful ways that the reptilian agenda that the Illuminati continue to confuse, muck, and mire the truth and use it to lie to you. Anyone, there is not one. There is not one Antichrist. There is not one Christ. Anyone. And we all operate on some form of either we are moving towards a Christ energy or we are moving towards an Antichrist energy. With the Luciferian current of the Kulat, it is true that the less people actively working towards becoming a Sesamus, becoming the highest level of Luciferian energy, that current gets stronger. On the flip side, the more people who work within the structure of what could very easily be termed the Kabbalah, and there's many other names for it, but just for cohesion's sake, we're going to call it the Kabbalah, and work within the Christ energy, the more people who work within that current, the stronger it gets. Do you see what's going on here in this world? We are looking at the development of a one world culture. Way, way long ago when these kings were sitting alone and these queens were sitting alone, going insane inside their own castles, raged with power, but but inbred and, and cut off from society, those scaly visitors that came to them promised them power and did tell them the truth, but they were lied to as well. You see, when those kings and queens who maybe had only 100,000 people underneath them set out to become the sole owners of that Luciferian energy current, they then realized that there was a huge world population that had to be subjugated before they could become the sole owners of it. And so we've moved into warring countries into consolidating unions. And if you look at the EU, which says it's only been around for what? They, they, they claim, you know, since the 90s, but it's actually been since the 50s. So they signed all those treaties and didn't let anyone know it till the 90s. The same thing has happened with the giant egregore called the, uh, the North American Union Act. They're consolidating power so that one point there truly could be a one world Luciferian super priest. And all those around them would, I think, view that they would get some sort of recompense for helping develop this. They're sadly mistaken, but you know, they're stupid with power. The great thing about moving towards the Christ energy is that anyone could do it. And you yourself could unleash your greatest inner hero and live a life of complete and total adventure while at the same time being fully fulfilled and having a free market economy and living the truths of that magical document called the Constitution. I don't know why more people don't do that. Oh yeah, that's right, because they're taught that it's not possible. <laughs> they're taught that only Jesus is going to do it. And that is such a horrible lie, such horrible venom that people are just sitting around waiting. You ever heard the term that soldiers sit 
on the morning of victory and then are lay wasted because of the actions of inaction that's essentially what's happening here is you could have potential victory almost overnight but everyone is just like well Jesus is gonna come and save me no 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 Jesus is not coming if Jesus did exist he went and said, hey, follow me, look, look, sh I'll show you. And everyone just kind of sat around and said, eh, he'll be back. Now nah, you should have followed. And now is the time to follow. Now is the time. If you look at the Tree of Life, and I've shown glyphs of it, and, and you really should begin to memorize what it looks like, Tapareth, the solar symbol, the solar sphere, sits in the middle of all the... Kabbalic tree of life, okay? It is the source energy. It is the sun. It is a good, decent, beneficial, glorious Elysium field of energy that you can connect with and learn whom your higher self is. You can become it. It's not a matter of, there's no secret ritual. For as many of the secret occult knowledge that I have, which, you know, I give it away, pretty much. I give you gold, thank you, and gold is the energy of that Tiparthian energy, so, you know, please use it. Um, honestly, really, it's just a process of, of figuring out who you are, which is hard, but you can do it, and, and most people have a good sense of who they are, and then you just suddenly start to become it. There's no point really in which you suddenly become the Christ energy I mean you know you just organically grow into it and you realize that you are be being virtuous but not for the sake of being virtuous you just are and that is the Christ energy but no we have all this Christian bullshit saying you know, you're not worthy, you're sinful, you're a sinner, you're dirty, you're unclean. You know, humanity, humans are a grubby, dirty, organic, love it in the mud, do it in the dirt, sweat, blood, and tears kind of race. And the fact that we're somehow trying to remove ourselves from what is truly our base of operation is just absolute spiritual retardation. Retardation. When you're pitting this war against Christ versus Antichrist, what you're doing is you're sitting around and allowing this group to finally consolidate its one power. And then because you're taught it's going to happen anyways, you don't do anything about it. And when it happens, and it's too fucking late, what's probably going to happen is they're going to stage a war. And then that's going to lull you into this idea of, oh, Jesus is back. We're going to live in his one world kingdom. <laughs> you know. No, his one world kingdom is going only going to be those who have accepted it, those who are too drugged down, too fucked up, too whatever they put in your air water vaccines and, and you know, your, your chip implanted in your head and fucking up your brain, then you're going to love it. It's going to be great because you're not going to have a choice. Now is the time. We are at a pivotal precipice moment where we're being led up humanity has been allowed to go this far and I, I'm shocked that people would riot over a fucking baseball game but not their rights okay San Francisco last night had riots because a fucking baseball team won who the fuck cares okay but you know the, the same people who rioted over a baseball game will bend over and spread their cheeks for the uh, uh, tyrannical cock, okay? <laughs> it's like, love me some baseball, love me some tyrannical cock in the ass. Mm, take away my freedoms, slap me and call me a bitch. Love it. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's fantastic. So we're being led up to this precipice. And there's this giant void right there. And we're being told to jump. 
Now, it's all based on consent. Do you believe these people have the right to tell you to jump into the oblivion of pure slavery? Unfortunately, a lot of Americans especially, uh, thank God the rest of the world is fucking waking up. Americans are so goddamn ignorant. But a lot of people would agree, because they believe at this point they've been so compartmentalized to hate others and hate themselves that they like to w watch others die, and then at that time, for them, they believe that they deserve it. It's all mass mind control. It's all one giant black magic spell. And if you say no and begin fighting back and pressing back, you're going to wake up enough human beings to start fighting away from the precipice that you could probably push all those fucking Illuminati scum over. Remember that movie 300 where, you know, he's like, this is Sparta, and he kicks him into that endless pit, whatever. That could be us kicking them into that endless pit. It's a great visual. Hey, anyone's welcome to join me with that, okay? All you've got to do is figure out who you want to be and then become the best of it. And that's not easy. But it's just step by step by step by step. You do it every day. And pretty soon you stop trying, you just become it. All right, there is no one antichrist. There is no Dahalja, Jimba, Jumba, whatever the fuck that stupid book calls him. It's anyone who's willing to sacrifice others for the good of their selves. And eventually, they're going to sacrifice everyone. Okay, so eventually there will be one, but it's going to be, you're going to be long gone for that happens. Okay, wouldn't you rather become the light of the world, the truth by who you are and the way by leading by example and living the life of a true champion, a true good person? Doesn't that excite you to get to be the knight, the warrior, the hero of your little world? It does me every fucking day. Now, that's really it. We are at the precipice, and it's time you either decide to jump or decide to fight. I'm going to leave you with that. Are you going to be a fighter or are you going to be some lemming whore that just jumps because your master says jump and you say yes sir